These are the Arizona iced teas cans for cleaning. Fairly clean so they don't stink. And we're going to use these for um, the solar furnace. Cans are getting all glued together tonight. I have to drill the holes in the bottom of the cans. Not too big because it, the air can't flow through too quickly. If it does, it won't heat up. I'm building a jig right now, so when I glue the cans together after I drill the holes, to put them up on so they um, stay relatively straight. Let's get a little stopper. A couple nails down at the bottom there to stop it. What this is going to do. Set up here. Here we go. Once I drill the holes in the cans, we'll use this to make sure that they stay relatively straight. Maybe I'll have to tape them in there or something, but uh, I need, I think, 10 rows of five cans, so there'll be 50 cans. I used Arizona iced tea because they're bigger than uh, like a 12 ounce can. This is a 23 ounce can. drill bit keeps grabbing the can perfectly round cut every time beautiful Crazy on me. Actually, hit the side of the can. That'll be all right. All right. So you get the picture. Three holes in the bottom. Two holes in the top. Fit together. Hopefully, make a swirly effect. I don't know. Should be all right. All right. So I'll continue doing this. In the swirling effect. I think if they're all perfect and they all, you know, not to make them all try to line up the right way, and you know, I don't know. I really don't even never done this before, so I think it'll be all right. All right, I got five cans. Now we're gonna get the glue. I got some high temperature uh, industrial strength multi-purpose adhesive. So. Well, uh, it's waterproof, flexible, paintable, abrasion resistant, high temperature. 
Okay, so I've got ten cans. We're making two rows of five tonight. All right, now we have a whole row of cans. What I'm going to do? Put a little. Uh, little bit of weight on the top. I'm just gonna tape these cans in so they don't uh, so we don't need to use duct tape, but that's all I got. Here's the uh, cans I just glued all together. We'll wait on top. Um, got two sections of five cans. Got some other ones done already. Just got to uh, glue. Now they're all glued already. And then what I'm doing is I'm putting another bead around there. Seal them up completely. Kind of messy, but. Yeah. Could be worse. As long as they don't leak air. Even it out a little bit off my finger there. <clears throat> Not real pretty, but it's gonna get painted over anyway. There we have it. Um, these are all my tubes, five cans long each, just ten of them. So I have about 50 cans worth. Now, <clears throat> each of these were all drilled. see through that probably not yeah, it can a little bit um, some of them have three holes well most of them have three holes there's uh, six of the tubes all have three holes and then the two that are going on the ends nearest to the intake and the output um, both have two the reason why I did that is to slow the air a little bit when it first comes in to try to get even flow throughout the whole box. Um, so hopefully that'll that'll help out. And you don't want the air. The the whole reason why I did this anyway with the holes. Instead, I've seen uh, people drill out the whole um, the whole circle. The air will just you know fly through it so quick that it won't get a chance to heat up. Um, so this way that the you know the air kind of swirls a little bit. Um, all of these, I kind of left the, uh, the tabs, I don't know if you can see in there, uh, the tab, I kind of left it at an angle and changed them on a couple different ones, so hopefully we'll get a swirling effect, and, uh, that'll help the heat transfer a little bit. There's my last, uh, last one I just put on there, I leave them there for, you know, a good, probably two hours. And then I'll uh, pull that off. Then I'll seal around the edges right here uh, with another bead of the caulking. And uh, then I'll paint them. I'll paint them. Then I gotta drill the uh, holes in the box right here. Then two, three, four, five, ten holes and line them up on each side. And uh, but that'll that's that.